Hello and welcome back. So I'm going to be doing a video today on this plant which is the Tetrapanax papyrifera or the Chinese rice plant. Now I'm not sure if this is one of the Rex varieties because this is the first time I've ever grown one of these so I'm not sure what the difference is between the two types but I think the Rex has got bigger leaves or grows faster but I mean if you compare these leaves to the size of my hand, they're pretty big leaves. I only planted this in April, now it's the end of August, so about four months growing time. And this was only nothing much more than a plug plant when I put it in. These are a couple of the old leaves here. This one that's just about clinging on to, so all the rest are new. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plus another one come in there and it, it just, just grow pretty fast so it'll, it'll soon push this leaf out and all these leaf stalks have got this sort of like torn and toss them on which can be a bit irritating I think but yeah so you just get you get a lot of growth in the first like I said first four months for a lot of growth I think some of these leaves are getting a bit of red spider mite damage on them so I'll have to watch out for that. So the newer leaves are showing signs well, I might have to spray that. So these can get to about five meters tall, really big, like sort of small trees. It's starting to get a bit of a trunk now. But hopefully next year it'll really push on. So I always think when you put a new plant in, the first year it's just putting its roots out, you might get a bit of growth. I mean, it's done really well for how much growth you get. But well, it's the second year when the plant really starts growing. So I'm excited to see how big this can get. And these also put out a lot of suckers. So I'll be digging them up and spreading around the garden. So I think it is one of the most tropical looking plants. You know, if you get this tall over your head, some of these leaves can grow massive. Because uh, that's just in four months. So when it gets a big trunk, in a few years, you know, the leaves can be really huge on them. So, this is a plant that likes being a lot of feed and water. Like I say, on my, this is well drained soil, quite poor soil. So, what I did here in this whole area, I had a load of compost before I planted, which is probably my biggest regret in the garden that I didn't do that everywhere because it really does help. It all, holds on to them nutrients and water and, it, and obviously the compost does feed them as well really holds on to, especially in a dry year like we've had here so if you are on well drained soil make sure you add all the compost manure and stuff before you plant then you're not playing catch up like I am trying to do it after you've planted everything but yeah so I feed this once a week with liquid seaweed and if it's really hot and dry I'll water it probably once once more in the week. So it's probably not getting as much water as it likes. <clears throat> but we've still got some decent growth on it. And I think in regards to winter hardiness, they can pretty much get through. With a plant this size, I might have to throw a fleece over it if we're getting some really low temperatures or bad frost. I think in general they tend to survive the winter pretty well. It lo loses all its leaves but soon kicks back into growth in the spring when it starts warming up. So yeah I've been really happy with that this year. I wasn't expecting too much because normally the plants that I like all the feed and the water don't do too well here. So I've been really impressed with how this has grown. So hopefully we've got a couple more months left of the growing season so it'll push out even more growth. Side of it there under Donax, that's done well for me this year as well. That were only a tiny plant. I'll see if I can find a, a photo when I first planted these. Show you how small the both were. But yeah, Tetrapanax papyrifera. Really nice jungle plant. Fast growing really do a job for you that'll show me 
the cycle as well, which is starting to flush now, finally. <clears throat> Seems a bit late in the season to be flushing, I think. Let's see how many of these leaves it can push out before the frost come. We've got about four in there. So yeah, I'm happy that's finally doing it. Right, thanks for watching. Bye.